Hello, this time I will show you how to make an extremely sensitive electromagnetic field measurement device made with an Arduino microcontroller. Electromagnetic fields a combination of invisible electric and magnetic fields of force. They are generated by many devices like power lines, kitchen capillances, mobile phones, computers, but they are also generated by natural phenomena like the Earth's magnetic field. Even the human brain emits extremely weak EMF signal that are thought to be potential mediators of telepathy. The EMF, de EMF detector introduced, introduced in this project is based on the Arduino Nano microcontroller and is extremely sensitive. The device can also be called an EMF meter and it can measure the relative strain of a field using a scale of 10 LEDs. I modified the grid code from Aaron's Alley EMF detector project and magazine magazine so that instead of a inline mode, the EMF strait is represented by a dot LED mode, only one LED is active at a time, reducing interference, while we can also lower the reaction threshold in code. I also added a audible signal whose frequency changes depending on the strait of the field strait. The device is relatively simple to build and contains only a few components. Uh, Arduino Nano microcontroller, which is housed in this metal box. Next, 10 LEDs, two potentiometers, buzzer, switches, and several resistors. In the first version, I mounted the Arduino in the same box along with the LED potentiometers and other electronics, but the instrument worked very unstable and was subject to self-oscillation. After some testing, I mounted the Arduino in the metal box that is grounded to the negative pole of the battery, which greatly increased the stability and sensitivity. The detector also has an ultra-sensitivity mode switch, and when it is turned on, the sensitivity increases even more. Let me just emphasize that for work in this mode, the device should be located in a room there, uh, where there are no electrical appliances on install or installations at a distance of several meters from the detector. And now let's see how the device works in reality. The EMF of this heater can be detected at a distance of one and a half meter and more with standard mode and with low, lower sensitivity.
this is power cable for, for this air conditioner. About one meter. The EMF from this switch can be detected at a distance of 2 meters and more in ultra mode. This device can easily detect electromagnetic fields uh, generated by power cables that are only under voltage and not connected to a consumer. Uh, also, older CRT monitors are very strong source of such radiation, so their field can be detected at a distance of 5 meters and, meters and more. According to the length and frequency of the tone, the strength of electromagnetic, electromagnetic fields is clearly visible. Uh, this type of sensitive EMF detector also are called uh, ghost detectors. As you can see in the video, detector presented is ultra sensitive and stable and is far better than, a, than the com commercial EMF detectors that you can get at the relatively high price. price. However, in order, in order to make this device successful, you need to have some experience in the field of electronics, especially in the way of grounding devices. If if self-activation occurs without the presence of an EMF signal, we should reduce the value of resistor R1, but we should keep in mind that reducing this resistor also reduces the sensitivity of the detector. Uh, and now a few words about antenna. 
In general, the shape and size of the antenna is best determined, determined experimentally. So I left a place uh, where a custom antenna can be connected. After a short test, I created my antenna as the best in terms of sensitivity and compactness. In my case, it is a weak alumin aluminum plate with dimensions of 7 by 3 centimeters. And as I mentioned before, the detector has a place for connecting an external ground, which further increases the stability. This device can also be used as lightning detector, lightning detector, and in that case gives the best result with a wire with a length of 50 centimeters as an antenna. Finally, the device is built in it was in, into a situable box made of PVC with a thickness of 3 mm and coated with self-adhesive colored wallpaper.